Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor. Today I'm going to talk about Glendale City arrests. And what I mean by that is a DUI or a misdemeanor criminal case where you've been arrested in the city of Glendale by a city police officer. If you're arrested by sheriff's office or DPS, that goes to a different jurisdiction. But if you're arrested by a city, a Glendale City police officer, you will be taken to one of three police stations. Either the Foothills Station, which is at Union Hills and 67th Avenue, the Gateway Station at West Maryland and North 83rd Avenue, or the main downtown station, which is at 59th Avenue in Camelback. Now, if you're taken down there, they'll draw blood for your DUI, or if there's a DUI van that met you on the side of the road, um, they'll draw blood. Either way, whether it was a van or a station, they will give you a ticket when you leave to show up to the Glendale City Court for your court date. Now, that particular court is located at 5711 West Glendale Avenue. Basically, that's at Grand Avenue and Glendale Avenue where they intersect. Now, once you go there, there's some free parking, which is to the south. It's in a little two-story garage. You can park there for free, go on into the court, make sure that you're dressed appropriately. Don't be wearing hats, sunglasses, shorts, tank tops, flip-flops. Wear a collared shirt, look somewhat professional. Now when you go to court, they're gonna require you to go each time. That's about once a month for six to nine months is the average length of a case, unless you hire an attorney. In that case, we can go for you so you don't miss time at work or school. Now basically, uh, at the Glendale City Court, you're dealing with three main judges. Uh, judge Elizabeth Finn, or Ellie Finn, is the presiding judge. I love Ellie Finn. Uh, when she was a judge over at the city of Phoenix, I was a prosecutor years ago. I was assigned to her courtroom. And then when I was a defense attorney, I would appear in front of her all the time. John, uh, judge John Burkholder is in courtroom four. John's a great guy. He used to be a prosecutor, but he's, he's a really good guy to deal with. And Manuel, Manuel Delgado is in courtroom three. Now, as far as any civil tickets, that's Derek uh, Oliverson is in courtroom number two. He handles civil traffic tickets. There are a lot of pro tem judges. By my count, there's eight different part-time judges that rotate in and out of the city of Glendale. Two noteworthy judges are Judge Laurel Canham. Laurel used to be a prosecutor in the city of Phoenix with me. Um, she's very state-oriented, so if you draw her as your judge, you better have a good lawyer so he knows what to do. Uh, might be able to do a change of judge and what's called a um, notice for change of judge. Also, Judge Michelle O'Hare Shattenberg. M Michelle used to be a judge in the city of Tempe for years. Now she's semi-retired. Um, she's a pretty decent judge to deal with. I always liked her in Tempe, so I'm sure she'd be just as good in Glendale. Now, the best way to stack the odds in your favor is to have a good defense attorney when you go into court. We know the city of Glendale, we know the judges, and we know the prosecutors. So if you're charged with a DUI or a criminal case in Glendale, give us a call. Uh, we'll set an, app uh, an appointment to meet with us. It doesn't cost anything to meet with us, but it does take about 30 minutes, and we'll go over your case with you from top to bottom, and hopefully we'll find a way out of this thing for you. So look forward to hearing from you soon.